Here is our new product, DMX Recorder and Playback Controller, DR and PB Mini. With a small and exquisite gold appearance, this device offers powerful recording and playback functions, making it truly budget-friendly. You have over 255 empty recorder IDs to choose from, allowing for extensive customization. Using the four buttons on the front panel, you can easily navigate and control the device. It features a 32 GB removable memory card for effortless file backup and transfer. Additionally, it can function as a simple portable signal detector. Now, let me give you a brief introduction to its functionality. First, let me introduce the equipment on the table, a compact DMX console, our DR and PB Mini, and a 5-channel DMX wash light. This 5-channel light allows color adjustment. The first channel controls the master dimmer, the second controls red, the third controls green, the fourth controls blue, and the fifth controls white. We'll try to record a few programs into the device. Let's start by connecting them. Now that we've connected everything, the DMX signal from the console will be output to our device. All we need to do is press a few buttons. First, press the menu button to navigate to the record show page. The number 001 in the middle of the screen indicates the recording program ID. This device can record up to 255 programs. You can use the up and down buttons to select the storage location. The left side shows 00, which indicates the duration of this program. If it's all zeros, it means program 001 is empty. Move the first and second faders on the DMX console to output a red effect, then press the enter button to start recording. The recorded time on the screen will start running. Press enter again to stop recording. Repeat these steps to create program 002 with a green effect and program 003 with a blue effect. Now we have created three programs, all manually triggered by pressing buttons. Next, we'll show you how to trigger recording with a DMX signal. We call this method standby recording. Let's select program 004 and hold down the enter button until the start in the bottom right corner of the screen changes to wait. Move the first and fifth faders to output a white effect. The device detects the DMX signal and wait changes to stop. The recording time starts running, successfully triggering the recording. Standby recording is suitable for scenarios where it's inconvenient to manually press buttons or when multiple channels need to be recorded simultaneously. We have easily recorded four programs. Now, let's play them back. The simplest method is manual playback. First, connect our lights to the DR and PB Mini. The lights will receive the DMX signal from the DR and PB Mini. Press the menu button to navigate to the Play Show screen. Then press the Enter button to play Program 001, outputting a red effect. Next, play Program 002 to output a green effect. Play Program 003 to output a blue effect. Play Program 004 to output a white effect. It's very simple and convenient. In some situations, Manual playback may not be practical, so we also offer the functionality of external device control for playback. First, press the menu button to navigate to the DMX address screen. Now our DR and PB Mini acts as a controller with 255 preset programs. These 255 preset programs are the ones we recorded earlier. We can control which preset program the device sends to the lights and the overall brightness by sending DMX signals to the device. This device has two DMX channels. The first channel determines which preset program to send, and the second channel controls the master dimmer. To demonstrate more clearly, let me briefly introduce our EasyNode Blue. It is a wireless DMX controller that can be controlled via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Connect the EasyNode Blue to our device, and then operate it with our smartphone. Step 1. In the app, Wi-Fi DMX Pro, connect to the Bluetooth of the EasyNode Blue. Step 2. Push the second fader to the maximum to achieve the brightest output. Step 3. Set the value of the first channel to 1. Program 001 on the controller is sent to the lights, 
and the lights turn red. Set the value of the first channel to 2. Program 002 on the controller is sent to the lights, and the lights turn green. Set the value of the first channel to 3. Program 003 on the controller is sent to the lights, and the lights turn blue. Set the value of the first channel to 4. Program 004 on the controller is sent to the lights, and the lights turn white. External device control allows for convenient and flexible operation of your lighting setup. Whether you are using manual controls or external devices like the Easy Node Blue, our system ensures seamless integration and easy management of your lighting programs. After demonstrating the recording and playback functions, are we done? Not quite. We have also added a packet loss detection mode. Since the device can both receive and send DMX signals, we can compare the amount of data sent with the amount of data received to determine if our lighting system is transmitting data smoothly. First, let's use a single unit for measurement. We'll use an XLR signal cable to simulate our lighting system, connecting the unit's output and input ports. Press the menu button to navigate to the packet loss screen. Simply press the enter button, and the unit will start sending data from its DMX out port to its DMX in port. After a few seconds, press the enter button again to stop the transmission and compare the TX and RX data on the screen. If the data matches, it means our signal cable or lighting signal system is working properly. If there's a significant difference in the data, or if the RX value is zero, there may be an issue with your system that needs attention. If the two ends of your lighting system are far apart, and you can't use a single unit as both the transmitter and receiver, you can use the following method. Use two units. The unit on the left acts as the transmitter, and the unit on the right acts as the receiver. Press the enter button on the transmitting unit, wait a few seconds, and then press enter again. Now, simply compare the TX data on the left unit with the RX data on the right unit to determine the signal quality of your lighting system.